Good morning, it's Wednesday, March 21st. I'm Elizabeth Pace. Good morning, I'm Brandon Brown. The JHS Report is next. The third quarter is coming to an end this Friday, March 23rd. Report cards will be distributed to students on Friday, April 6th during 7th period. Co-Ed Wyatt is presenting a gospel fest in the Jeff High Auditorium on April 26th. Admission is free, but everyone is asked to bring a non-perishable canned good for lay ministries. The music will begin at 6.30 p.m. If you have not purchased your yearbook already, get it now while it's on sale. There are 55 now, but with a $5 coupon, you can get it for just 50 See one of your yearbook staff members for a coupon. After spring break, the prices will increase, and you cannot attend the yearbook signing assembly party unless you have purchased a yearbook. National Honor Society members need to pick up their fundraiser in the morning before school on April 2nd upon return from spring break. National Honor Society members must have their hours completed and turned in by the April 5th meeting. Prom tickets are on sale now until April 6th during all lunch periods. The prom will be held April 14th from 8 o'clock to 12 o'clock at the Galt House in Louisville. SAG Club meeting this Thursday in Ms. Claude Felter's room from 2.35 to 2.50 p.m. Please make sure you're in attendance. Girls who have a prom event dress and dress shoes they no longer need are asked to donate them for the prom fashion show coming soon to JHS. Help the JHS Fashion Club by donating your items. All types of dresses are needed. Please turn in your donations to Mrs. Beckman in room H135 in the art hallway. Seniors interested in signing up for prom court may do so in the front office or in the Devil's Den. Signups will be available until Wednesday, April 4th. Congratulations to JHS art student Joseph Cahoe on receiving a National Silver Key Award for his charcoal drawing, approximately 500 submissions per state go to New York to be adjudicated and only 20 pieces per region are accepted. The JHS report is happy to air your announcement. Have a teacher or staff member email the announcement to Mr. Gross and we will do our best to make sure that announcement gets on the air. We will have the latest JHS with a forecast plus your latest Jeff High Sports after the break. Attention Clark County residents, thank you for voting Moby Dick Seafood your number one choice for seafood in Clark County. We serve high quality cod sliced and breaded daily. Delicious onion rings sliced and breaded daily, never frozen. We are located at 1700 East 10th Street in Jeffersonville. Open till 9 Monday through Thursday, 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, and 8 p.m. on Sunday. Stop by and enjoy a whale of a sandwich. Good morning, I'm Patrick Cowden with a look at today's JHS weather forecast. Today, sunny, partly cloudy, very hot. High of 87. Tonight, few clouds, low of 64. Tomorrow, sunshine and clouds mixed. A stray afternoon thunderstorm is possible, high of 83. That's a look at your JHS weather forecast. Now here's a look at sports with Curtis Essery. Good morning, I'm Curtis Essery with the latest Jeff High Sports. Levada Robertson, the only indoor state qualifier from Jeff Girls track team, competed this past weekend at Wesleyan University, Hoosier State Relays. She ranked 38th out of 57 girls in the 55 meter dash and placed 12th out of 24th in the long jump, lunging 17 foot 25 inches in indoor season's best. Chase Scott and Darius Phillips participated in the indoor state track meet on Saturday. Neither individual scored, but Chase long jumped a season best 20 feet and 9 and a half inches. The next boys, the boys' next meet is on Saturday, March 31st at Central High School. Lenny Lyles Invitational. If you plan to be on the boys track team, you must report by Wednesday of this week. Jeffersonville's Lake and Roland was named to the Indiana Basketball Coaches Association Girls Academic All-State First Team on Monday. To be considered eligible, players must be nominated by their coaches and carry a 3.5 or higher GPA on a 4-point scale. A class rank in the upper 25th percent of one's class, an SAT score of 1500 or better, or an ACT score of 23 or better. The IBCA Academic All-State Team is a program where academic prowess and athletic aptitude are both considered in the selections. Good luck to our Jeff wrestlers that made the Indiana All-Star Wrestling meet that will be wrestling Wednesday night versus the Kentucky All-Star Team. Jeff has claimed 15 of the 28 positions to take on this team. That's the latest Jeff High Sports. Stay tuned. A final word from the newsroom is next. Would you like to do something special for our friend for their birthday? 
You can with the WJHS birthday greeting. It's very simple. Bring six pictures and five dollars to WJHS room H130 and we'll help you say happy birthday. That's the latest Jeff High News. We hope you have a great day. I'm Brandon Brown. And I'm Elizabeth Pace. Thank you for watching the JHS Report.